Hello everyone and welcome back to Intergalactic Scumbaggery at its best here in Stellaris. I'm Scumbag Mal and I am once again fortunate enough to be joined by fellow scumbags, Vanguard and Sabouts. Hello, hello scumbags. Hello fellow scumbag. Hello, <laughs> you filthy, filthy scumbag. <sighs> it never gets old. Never. I, you know, never, I'm, never. I am, I'm fond of you guys, um, just in general, but especially as, as fellow scumbags. It's <laughs> just, that's just fact. That's just fact. Okay, so in between episodes, Vanguard, you designed a new Federation ship, correct? Yes. Or Federation ships. Uh, true. Maybe. I build, I build them a little bit overpowered, but it's not my fault that you guys have such awesome weapon technology available for you. <laughs> yeah, you can't ever build, build them, them too overpowered. <laughs> yeah. You built them with what in mind? What was the big thing you were doing? Okay. And we can't see that plan right now, so... Okay, I can... Later I will take a screenshot so you can paste on the post-editing uh, post mall and sabots, but... Just giving a fast recap, I'm building a torpedo boat with the Corvettes because since uh, the enemy is using missiles, that's all they're good for now. I'm building a very heavy point defense destroyer ship to protect the Corvettes as, many as, as much as they can. And the goal on both of those designs is being as cheap as they can be. The cruiser is a frontline brawler that can take as many punishment as a cruiser can take. I made a carrier design for one of the battleship designs. It's the same deal as the cruiser. When the cruiser is down, the, uh, the destroyers are down, and the corvettes are down, they are the last line of defense. So they have a very heavy point defense system, and that's all they are good for. And I'm building the artillery battleship that's going to be ready soon when I finish researching the Giga Cannons and I can put up a Spinal Ball. So they are just going to be the snipers and the heavy dealers of the team. Good. Uh, okay, so it's a very complex and mixed composition of a fleet, but it works awesome if you know how to build it. That's all. All right, cool. So what is everybody doing right now for research? How are you guys doing on research? Uh, I'm doing okay. My problem continues to be influence. It's improved slightly, and I'm working on some tech that in 88 months should help out. But yeah, it's a little bit rough because I'm my leaders are finally dying off, and I can't replace uh, them. Ah, yes. Really rough, actually. There's really no good way to get influence. Is there anything in the... Um... Uh, is there any way to get some additional influence past what we've already gotten from the traditions? I mean, I already took the stuff in expansion. Uh, I don't... And actually, that was all Unity stuff. Yeah, it wasn't even... I don't really think there is, actually. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure. That's the Everything part of the is... game. I'm not a pro. <laughs> so... I mean, there's ship upkeep reduction. There's... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing... I picked up Domination real quick, but just so I could get the Colonial Viceroys. Other than that, the rest of them suck. I took that whole tree, actually. Really? Mm-hmm. It's a lot to do with vassals and subjects, which I don't have any. Not yet. I was I was thinking about when we actually do finally get to vassalize, though. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm trying to think I was trying to think doesn't ahead. seem that bad. The unity output increased by 5% per member of our federation. There's three of us. That's a 15% increase. What is this? Where's this at? Diplomacy. Under diplomacy. So 15% increase in unity in your empire. And then oh, federation unity. naval capacity counts for twice as much. I thought about going for the discovery tree just so I could get the, the research people's 10% at the end. You know, the bolt that wouldn't goes be bad. Kinda, yeah, the I took, bolt goes took, kind of worthless now. I took but... the technological ascendancy ascension perk, which was plus ten percent research speed too. So all that stacks. And the planetary survey core is pretty worthless, but the science division is not bad. 
uh, polytechnic education is not bad, and uh, the faith in science isn't bad if you're going to do assist research, which I'll probably do. So maybe I'll take science. I just I literally only took one trait in domination, with, just because I've got pretty much everything except for diplomacy, discovery, and domination. So I took one trait in domination just so I could get the colonial viceroys, because the governor skills increased by two, and I'm using governors on my planets, and leader capacity plus two is pretty use, uh, useful. But other than that, I'm probably going to shift my focus into another one. I'm not going to get all the domination just yet because um, I think, for me personally, I have nowhere else to really go. So vassals are kind of out of my future because I'm not going to be vassalizing the Tumbaters anytime soon. So. Yeah, no, so you put those on the ships? Yeah, that's the goal. Spinal mouth. I've got for doing uh, one of those planets that I took over that, that I got in that war is uh, high quality minerals plus twenty five percent. So I oh. mean, so everyone there basically is going to be enslaved, and then every single one of them is going to be working on minerals. Wow. Yeah. Nice little mineral powerhouse. Mm hmm. Should be pretty good. I'd say yeah. When it's done, anyway. Wait, there's something wrong here. Well. Okay. When a when a slave is working on something, does it even matter what their happiness is? Uh, actually, I, yes. Just robots it does, that right? ignore happiness. Yes. It does. It does matter. Okay, that's what I thought. All right. So symbol of unity then. Anybody need any energy? Um, nope. All good on energy, that's for sure. Minerals seems to be like gold right now. Yeah, same thing here. I'm okay. Thank you. Those fleet academies are really good. I see they cost influence now. But every planet should have that. At least every planet that's building ships. I've got three planets now with it, so I'm probably just going to focus on building all my ships from these three planets. Thinking about... Hmm. About colonizing a world that's pretty much terrible? Just so I can get rid of a frontier outpost. Honestly, it's worth it, really. Yeah. It's you not think a bad so? Idea. Yes. Okay, let me let me go for this then. I got a ton of kind of colonizable planets around me. Like I don't have the colony tech to colonize them, but but you know I've got like ocean worlds and stuff around me. Okay, so my space parts ready. Yes. Ready. Okay, so hydroponics. Gotta redo my ship designs because I've got like, I've got like new engines and all kinds of stuff, and I haven't updated them yet. Zero point reactors. Wish I had some better armor. I only have I only have tier two armor, which is nothing to really write home about. Yeah. Okay. I'm start building the Federation fleet. Let's see how good they are. Are they still using shields? Are they still using a lot of shields on their no, ships? No, not at all. The AI always mix a little bit of shields with the armor, but it goes mainly armor most of the time. Construction complete. Oh, bad. I don't have enough influence. Oh man, I, I don't. I didn't have enough influence to replace a dead oh. scientist. So I had to take them off of my your science uh, ship. My science ship that was doing assist research. That yep. sucks. 
I had to do that a little while back. It sucked. I'm wondering if I want to put some defensive stations up in some places, but... The, the, the irony of not being able to colonize a world in order to get rid of a frontier outpost so that you will gain influence, but you can't do it because you don't have enough influence to colonize the world. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, jeez. Life has a funny way. Yeah. Oh, I see. So I can control the Federation fleet. Now I got what what you, the guy was tell, telling on your comments. Small. I thought the Federation fleet was a AI thing. So since no, I no. can control it, 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 it it's now, very hold on, powerful. Hold on. hold on. To be very specific, it is an AI fleet. If there's AIs in the Federation, and oh, even, oh, even oh, and and it and at least in 1.4, um, even when we had control of the fleet. It never did what we told it to do. So if you actually have control of it right now, that's great. And that means hopefully they fixed it because it was terrible. It like was it a was, bug. It was not worth. It was yeah. not worth having. It was definitely not a feature. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I mean, one one would hope not because it was really really bad. Well, we had control of it originally, and then randomly, all of a sudden, like halfway through the game, we couldn't control it anymore. Yeah, that that was, was the times. weird. Yeah, that was the weird part. Like it that just was, happened. That that made me super happy. Yeah, if I can control this fleet, the entire battle, I mean, the computer just doesn't have a chance because, to be honest with you guys, there is pretty much nothing in the game that can beat a fleet the way I'm building. Just a bigger fleet that's built the same way, so <laughs> it's going to be fun. That's how I'm going to say. That was a great call, if that was true, from, from the guy that... I, I wish I remember his name, but sorry, I'm very bad with names, so. Well, that's all right. You and me both, buddy. <laughs> you and me both. Yeah. On YouTube, I just remember the, the name of the person because of the picture that YouTube's put on the, yeah, the side of the, the pictures, name. Pictures do it for me, too. And then, like, somebody will go and change their picture, and sometimes it takes me a minute. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure I know this person. <laughs> yeah. Parian's getting chewed up right now. I feel bad. Yeah, I don't feel too bad. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, but no. Not, not so much, because we need to survive, so... I have a Thinking question. Yeah, shield yeah. just a little bit longer, then we can go back to war. I have a question for you guys. Do you know from uh, how much time to time does the Admiral change your options to pick a, an, an Admiral or something like that? You can recruit a new Admiral whenever you want. No, yes, I know, but uh, how, how much time does it take for the list to change? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I change them so infrequently that it's not really a... Yeah, I'm trying to discover this for in the past week, and I couldn't find the answer anywhere. That's a good point for me, too. I never really thought... No, how do you actually... Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. You said we should still keep putting armor on, right? Uh, yes. Because they're using a lot of anti-shield weaponry, so armor is going to help a lot. Yeah, four cruisers and a battleship, and the fleet strength is already 3.5k. 
<laughs> wow. Yeah, well, I'm getting the, the best uh, of our technologies to make this ship, so it's very easy to do this. It's not a challenge at all. Okay, I'm going to build the cruisers first, then I worry about the battleships because I have a discount to build oh. cruisers because of the cruiser assembly yard, so... Tomb World Habitability. That's a cool tech. <laughs> Don't know if I have any Tomb Worlds near me. I guess we'll find out once I get the tech research. I could probably find out another way, but... Yep. Expansion Planner. Okay, so my border hinge is the best can be. Designed my ships a little bit. Also, Mal, if you have great shields but you don't have great armor, go for shields because technology is better than building a low tech armor. High tech shields are better than low tech armor no matter what. There's only one tech level between what I've got, so. Okay. Not a, not that big a deal. Okay, I do got one Tomb World. Nice. <sighs> Cruisers take so long to build. Yeah, I finally got the tech pop up, so now I'm gonna have cruisers soon. A couple yeah. months. Ooh, antimatter missiles. Yes, please. <laughs> Those are awesome. Okay. One of you guys just got advanced after burners, or was that me? I did. Oh, awesome. The Federation cruisers, thank you. Oh, finally, <laughs> finally nice. my finally my influence has gone up. I can colonize this world. All this trouble to colonize this world that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Must be at least forty percent. I thought I, I thought I could do it. Oh, I can't. Dang it! It's thirty-five percent. I can't even do it. Darn it! Ah. Uh. Wah, wah. All right. Well, then let's just get rid of this ship then for now. Die a horrible death, people. Ah. I did get Paradise Dome though, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, that's awesome. I plus have five right food now. and plus two unity. Yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. super sexy. I've got one on every planet. It's it's awesome. It's an awesome tech. Yeah, I'm I'm putting it on every planet right now. Ooh, cheaper war demands, leader enhancement, lineage. Ooh, what do I get? What do I get? I guess cheaper war demands. Kind of sucks when you get a building like that though, and your planet, you like, like you've got a planet that's completely done, and you're like, oh, what am I gonna get rid of? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, that makes me sad. Usually always dump the farms. That's exactly what I just built over. <laughs> Especially yeah. since it gives five food anyway, right? So it's like, why not? Mm -hmm. 
That's what I did. I just replaced all my farms with it. Oh, finally, upgrade all my spaceports to level four. Oh, some of them I don't even have a spaceport. So how are we feeling about our, you know, chances of going back to war here? Well, they're at war with the Katarians right now. I imagine they're going to vassalize them too, so we're kind of in a rough spot. It'd be nice if we could get the Malgekians to go to war with us by getting them in the Federation or something. No, we could try to get them in the Federation. Let me see here. Um. Wow. <laughs> they they hate you to the tune of a negative 1,000, so wow. they will join. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It says dislike spider pirate bastards. It's what it says. And then there's a minus 1000 after it. Oh, what have I done? I don't know, but they, they, You're breathing. They, they don't, they don't like you. I know that much. Oh, that's a shame. I'm such a, they love guy. me. They, I love me and me loves me too. So I am, I am such a nice cool. guy. You know, they're even protective of me. They feel I'm weak. The, the other me feels that me is weak and will protect me. They made peace. Oh, okay. Yeah, they made peace. That's that's good. Yep. Are they still alive? Like, they have anything left? Yeah, they're still there. Starfish is still kicking. Yeah, he's still alive. I'm doing some trading with him, trying to keep him my buddy. Yeah, actually, the Gekion exchange is expanding so much that... It's kind of a threat to the Tumbatur conglomerate, so it's not as bad as it looks. Um, is it me or the the Fallen Empire just disappeared, or there wasn't a Fallen Empire? There is one. There They're is still one. here. They're still there. Yeah. Where is the it? The Lagan Choose Chroniclers. They're still there. Yeah. They are. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm going to take you for your word. <laughs> I can't find them on the map. What's their <laughs> color? Uh, it's uh, like a teal, like a light teal. Same color kind of as thing. the Tembator. Oh, so maybe that's why I'm. Oh, I look can't at that! The Katarian Empire and the Gekian Thought Exchange defensive pack. That's a good thing, actually, for us. Oh, yeah, right wow! Now, what, anyway. a, what a coincidence. Dang it, I just changed my ship designs and then I just got some more tech. <laughs> I just changed them all. All of them. All of them. <sighs> Gekians like me. Yeah, me too. Well, when we try to invite them to the Federation, it's negative 1,000. They Maybe say... it's negative like 1,000 as... Yeah, it's negative 1,000. That's just what the AI does when they object. That's all it is. Yeah, I was wondering, they though, object if to it, you. is it negative 1,000 I won't accept? As in, like, because sometimes the, like, those scores try to automatically generate regardless if it's a human player or not. So technically, no, no, no. My it's, saying, it's saying I can't offer them because of that, because oh, of weird. the negative 1,000 to you. Because I can offer it to them, but they and just don't. accept? Well, they don't want to accept because distance and war philosophy. So negative 94. Well, that's better than 1,000. Right, I can toss them a couple things and make them feel good. Give them warm, fuzzy feelings. Yeah, they they don't like me because I'm a bunch of xenophobic bigots. 
They hate you. They hate you, Zabouts! I don't know how. They're just racist against pirate spiders. I mean, I don't know how they couldn't just, you know, absolutely adore you. I mean, your, your race is so, like, nice Loving looking and, and yeah. all sweet and stuff. and Friendly. Yeah, I just don't get it. I don't know why they don't really love you, you know, to the extent that they can, right? They should. They should. Yeah, I mean, that's what I think, but... I don't know, I guess I can't always have what I want. You can't always get what you want. I should get what you need. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Vanguard, he's like, what the heck is going on? Why are they singing? <laughs> to be it's honest, for the good of the people. Was, it's I a know, musical it. let's play. It's a cute it's hey, it's for the good of the people. We're thinking <laughs> of the people. That's yeah. all that that's all that is. It's just like that guy in Fallout 4. To the people for the people, or for the people to the people. I don't remember the order. <laughs> that <laughs> was one of the goals. <laughs> nice, but, I just raised my habitability enough that I can colonize all these planets around me. Uh, and we gotta wrap it up. No. Gotta wrap it up. Yep. No. Yep. Right. No. <laughs> yep. Yep. We do. However, I think we actually. Why don't we take just a little bit of time between this episode and the next one and build up our fleets, and then that way we can actually go back to war next episode. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Right? Is that good? Yep. All right, everyone. Well, hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal for Subounce and Vanguard, and we will see you later. <laughs>